Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. Every month, Arch Linux puts out a brand new ISO, usually on the first of the month. But that ISO is not for updating the system. It's for brand new installs. So today I'm going to show you how to download the ISO, how to verify it in a Debian-based system, Linux Mint, and how to verify it in Arch Linux. Now you might say, well, why would I need to verify it if I already have Arch Linux running? Well, maybe you want to make some virtual machines, or perhaps you have another computer that you want to install Arch Linux on, and you want to install it from the brand new ISO. And like I said, this ISO is not for updating the system. So I'm going to show you how to verify it and let's get to it. So I'm in a virtual machine of Linux Mint and I'm going to open up my uh, web browser, Firefox. And I'm going to go to Arch Linux website and I'm going to go to download and I'm going to scan down and let's just jump right down. So I'm going to grab a mirror from the United States and I often use the constant mirror and there's two here. So you want to make sure you click on the one that's HTTPS and the S is, stands for secure. You don't want to grab the one that's not secure. So you can see this bottom one is not secure. It's HTTP, but the top one is secure because it's HTTPS. So I'm going to click it on and I'm going to click on the ISO. You can see it's dated August 1st. So I'm going to click it on and download it. And this download shouldn't take too long. It's about 800 megabytes, which is small for an installation ISO. And if you find the download is going slow, you should stop it, like really slow. You should stop it and choose another mirror. So the download is complete. I don't think it took even a minute. And you can see that from this specific mirror, we can download the SHA text to help verify the ISO. And we can also download the signature to verify the signature of the ISO. But I don't like to download them from the mirror where I get the ISO. I like to download the SHA text and the signature text right from the Arch Linux website rather than from the mirror where I'm downloading the ISO. I think it's safer. I don't know if it really is, but I just think it is. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to scan down a bit. And here's the signature right here, right from the Arch Linux website. So I'm going to download it. And that only takes us not even a second to download. It's done. Then I'm also going to grab the shot text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my graphical text editor and then then I'm going to go back to the website and I'm going to grab this SHA-256 and I'm just going to highlight it, copy it, go into my text editor and paste it. Go into my terminal. I'm going to cd into my download folder. I'm going to ls it and I'm going to copy this. copy and I'm going to go back to my text editor. I'm going to leave two spaces and I'm going to paste it in. And then I'm going to save the file and I'm going to save it in my downloads folder and I'm going to call it SHA period txt text. And then I'm going to close it and I'm going to close that. And I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to ls it. And there's the three files. So there's two ways to verify it. We're going to verify the SHA text, which if it says it's okay, it means that the uh, ISO was not altered. And then there's verifying the signature. Now verifying the SHA text is the same regardless of whether you're verifying your ISO in Arch Linux or in a Debian based system, but verifying the signature is different between doing it in a Debian based system or an Arch based system. 
So first I'm gonna verify the shot text. So now we have three files in our uh, downloads folder. We have the ISO, the ISO signature, and that shot text that we made. Now if we wanna cat the shot text, you can see that's what's in there. So we copied this from the Arch Linux website and pasted it in the file. And then we just copied the name of the ISO and also pasted it in the file. And we left two spaces here. So we're going to type in this command, SHA 256 sum, leave a space, dash C, leave a space, SHA period text or TXT. And I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to verify the ISO. Now, verifying the shot text, it's the same regardless of what machine or distribution you're verifying it in. And it says it's okay. So we verified the SHA-256 sum text. It's okay. So now we're going to verify the signature. Now, verifying the signature is different whether you're verifying it in an Arch system or a Debian system. Right now we're in a Debian system. This is Linux Mint based on Debian, and we're going to go back to the website. So we're going to go up, we're going to go to installation guide. Now it tells you right here to verify the signature. If you're doing it in a non arch system, you type in this command. If you're doing uh, it in an arch based system, you're going to type in this command. I'm going to highlight this. But I'm only going to highlight it to here. I'm not going to take the second half. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it in the terminal. So after verify, I'm going to leave a space. And I'm going to type in Arch. I'm going to tab it. I'm going to click on the signature one. And hit enter. And there it is. The signature is verified. Right here, it's a good signature from Pierre at archlinux.org. So now we verified the signature and the shot text in Linux Mint. So now I'm in my Arch Linux system and I have the three files in there and I'm not gonna do the shot text again because I already did it and it's the same procedure with the shot text regardless of what system you're in. But now I'm gonna show you how to verify the signature in the Arch Linux system. So if you're verifying the signature in the Arch Linux system, we're going to copy the second one, not the top one. We're going to copy it. And actually, we're only going to copy to here. We're not going to copy the second part. I'm going to go to the terminal. I'm going to insert. I'm going to leave a space. And I'm going to type in Arch with the signature. Enter. And there it is. We have a good signature from Pierre at archlinux.org. So now I showed you how to verify the shot text and the signature both in a Debian based system like Linux Mint and in Arch Linux. In this video, I showed you how to download and verify an Arch Linux ISO. And I showed you how to verify it in a Debian-based system and in Arch Linux. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am the Linux Mitch.